Look at the looter in this one. That's what I meant. The shacks are usually... <sighs> oh my goodness, God. I was just talking about it, too, wasn't I? <laughs> I was just talking about it, too. Oh, you know what those shacks? Sometimes they're really good because they have weapons. Because, you know, hunters in the shacks in the forest. Oh, you mean like a straight-up shotgun dog that's actually loaded? Welcome back, everybody, to Falcon Plays Neo Scavenger. We are on our way back towards the cryo facility. We're going to finally undertake the mod itself. I don't have the crowbar just yet, but I have just about every other skill and the other items required to do most of it in there. I, I still believe we need the crowbar for at least one or two of the events in there, but at least for now, we'll start undertaking it. And maybe on the way over there, we'll find a crowbar, too, so... Hopefully, we'll keep our fingers crossed over here. Now, the end of my turn happened at the end of last episode, so we'll end our turn legitimately here. Do I have any more crowbars on me? Not crowbars. I have crowbar in the mine right now. I keep telling you, this is what I'm looking forward to more than anything right now. But I meant torches, which we do. Great, so we should be able to do some more scavenging about over here. Four, as a matter of fact. Great. I've been in office tower. What do you have here? No useful items were found. My torch fell apart again. You know what? Don't we have, like, a few extra lighters now? Like, it's getting a little bit annoying having to do this torch business every single time now that we have the lighter. I mean, we have one lighter. I was hoping for, like, maybe a second one. Didn't I have a second one? I could have sworn I did. Oh, no, I feel like all my Neo Scavenger runs are starting to mesh into one, and I start having memories about older ones that I think I just did, like, an episode or two ago, and I'm like, no, would that happen this run, or was that, like, you know, a year ago? It's kind of weird. Um, This is a 73.2. I think we said that every single time you use it, it's 1%, right? So that would be 73 scavenges. Let me, let me give it one more try. I'm pretty sure it's 1% that it drops, so... 73.2. This would drop down to 72.2 right now. Yeah, so it's 1% every time you use it. Eh. I guess I'll just de stop being lazy and use the uh, quality torch method after all. Because, you know, let me tell you, 70 uses sounds like a lot, but considering how often you scavenge this game, doesn't isn't really that much, really. So, yeah, yeah, let's just go ahead and stop being lazy. Not like it really takes too long to do anyway. Jump in here, and let's go ahead and do our quality torch lid. Cool. And you get on out of here, and you down here. Okay. Two more buildings to go through. Nothing was found, and destroyed office building. What do you got for me here? Nothing was found. Seems to be happening a little bit too often recently. We have a shack up here, too. We want to kind of double back here a little bit. I guess we'll probably give it a try. You know what? The shacks sometimes have a lot of looting potential. And they also have... What is this? Get out of here. They also have the option of, like, maybe giving you, like, a crazy gun. You know, hunters out in the shacks and the forest and things of that nature. So, there is that. What is this water area right here? It's like a waterfall. It's like a waterfall. Oh, there's a storage shed in here, too. Alrighty. Got some shoes and oh, another scope. Well, you know what? That sells for a lot, so sure. That's what I meant about these shacks being pretty good for money sometimes. We also have two more berries up here. No mind if I do. Oh, shit. <laughs> what about the, f the bullet staring you right in the face there, Falcon? Yeah, I, I guess those are good, too. Wow, had I missed those? Ooh, yeah, I thought they were pebbles. I'm sorry. Sometimes the new HD comic style retexturing throws me off here a little bit. No worries, though. We got it. We got it. And we have the actual shack to check out now. Look at the looter in this one. That's what I meant. The shacks are usually... <sighs> oh my goodness, God. I was just talking about it, too, wasn't I? <laughs> I was just talking about it, too. Oh, you know what those shacks? Sometimes they're really good because they have weapons, because, you know, hunters in the shacks in the forest. Oh, you mean like a straight-up shotgun dog that's actually loaded? 93.8 condition. That is amazing. Now, for the hunting rifle here, I'm not sure... Can I make a strap for it? Man, I feel like foolish not buying that rifle strap that we found in the, um... junk town over there. There was a, there was a, um, you know, a rifle strap for sale, and I was like, no, no, I don't need it. Well, we could have used it now. Unless we can make our own rifle strap, I have a feeling like we probably should be able to. I just don't know what the recipe for it is going to be. Like, I do believe you require, like, string? Like, medium ones, maybe? And then, like, maybe a tool? Maybe a, a few parts? I don't have enough moves left over for a turn, so... For one, let's just start off by giving us my, some turns here first. Let's come in here. I do believe it's going to be like... 
tools and this. Okay, we have medium dead rem. No, that's not what we're looking to do. What if I tossed you in here too? Like a tour or something? No, it's not really working out, is it? Maybe rags? <laughs> Got a sling. Not looking for the sling though. What if I throw some of the small guys in here? No, it's not going to work out either. Maybe a shard? Maybe we need to cut something down? Nope. Maybe that? Just to give me an idea? No. Or for all I know, you can't even make it. I mean, that would be kind of silly too. You can't make the rifle strap, but I have a feeling you should be able to. <laughs> short shorts. Oh, good God. I should make some short shorts just for comical purposes alone. No, I could have sworn there was a way to do it, but unless, um, I don't know, let's toss some skills in here. I doubt it's going to work out, but... Rags from clothes. No. I, there's a way to do it, I'm pretty sure. I just don't know what the hell it is right now. I'm not going to stop to look up a wiki as well. I'll do it next time. So, at least we know we have it. We have to carry the shotgun with us, though. And that's going to actually put a hindrance on me because we're not going to have the... the torch potential now. And, I mean, you do fit in here, so actually, we might be able to fit you in after all, yeah. Absolutely we can. Can't carry anything else for a while, but definitely can fit you in here. Okay. 49.2. Tarp, time for you to go bye-bye. Time for you to go bye-bye. And also this rag here, I believe the one that we had on our face once again fell apart. Oh no, it was this one. And we're actually no longer injured as well, so that's fine. Do... Rearrangement through there. That's all good. We have a few empty spots here and there, so place you like that, and I would say this is good. Condition 100. Place you in here. All right, you're good. Don't need the crude arrows. So shotgun is now in our cart, and we are going to have room for the lighting as well. All right, it's actually quite great. Now I'm not going to go to DMC to sell this right now. I'll hold on as a backup weapon. And if we want to sell it anywhere, we'll probably just sell it off at the Anishaki, Anishiki, Shuba Shuba Pa 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 camp that we'll eventually run into over here. So since we're in a little bit of a forest terrain, though, how are we doing in terms of our our thirst is fine? Well, let me start getting thirsty kind of soon. There's a water supply here, too, so we should probably take advantage of that. Let's jump over here. Oh, another little town to check out, too. Let's come in here and take advantage of the fact that we have some water nearby to purify, drink ourselves up here. So, known recipes go into friction. Uh, small. Can we do a medium campfire? Oh, we could just do a straight up one without... Yeah, there you go. Do that then. 71.2. Oh, it does use up the lighter though. Then again, we have been using it up anyway, so... Whatever. Just do that one. Okay, I still want get, to get a pot so we could actually purify three waters in one go as opposed to just one at a time, but... No luck so far with the pots, which is weird, man. I used to get pots all the time back in the old runs. Pots, as in, you know, cooking utensil, not pot. I don't, you know, play high. I don't think you'd want to see me play high. Like, that would just be like a giggling fest more than likely. All right, so this is cool right here. And where is our... Oh, we need our fire here. And we need our container. Which is... For a second there, I almost freaked out. I was like, wait a minute, where did it go? Uh, yes, so sterilize all this water. That might be more than enough, but hey, let's just use up our turns. There you go. So let's see here. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba, that's filled up. We have one left in here. So that's cool. Store up. Sterilize fully. Sterilize fully. Sterilize and sterilize. Oh, that's it. Okay. So, now we just drink the leftover ones. Okay. Great. Some more leftover over here. Like, three of them left over. That's fine. Now, are we hungry? 49.2? Yeah, no, it seems kind of like a waste, really, right now. 49.2 is going to last me a bit longer. If I'm really hungry, I can just have the berries first and do everything else, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I guess we'll hold off on it. Um, but by any rags they want to sanitize over here, though. That's the other thing. Yeah, we have a ton of rags, actually. We should just go ahead and sanitize them now, too. So, no one recipes. Sanitize. Well, let's do it the easier way. Toss all that in there. Oh, wait, wait a second here. Toss all that in there. 
go into crafting and boom. It's my container ad. Always is a container. Container. There you are. Fire. Oh, we're at a turnstile falcon. Shit. <laughs> ah, I didn't see that. Oh, that was one of the guys there. That was one of the guys from that camp, I'm pretty sure. Like that weird looking hat. I used to always think they were wearing a mask, but people were like, no, no, Falcon, this is like they were a little weird, you know, like tribesman hat or something. I was like, oh. Unfortunately, you can't ever get that hat for yourself. I always really wanted that, but no. Apparently, you can't. So, what were we doing here? We were doing campfire. We were doing container and then dirty ass rags so we could use dirty water to sanitize. Okay, that. Sterilize, sterilize, and this should all be... Oh, There we go. Okay, so let's just do... We have five turns right now, right? 0.80 per each one? Not bad. Let's gonna get all of them cleaned up while we're at it. Okay, good. That's all we really needed. So, over here, we're at nine... Stock them up like so. And now we have 10 and 12. Oh, thought we had more. Place you in there. So now we have 18 and 10 over here. 28 clean rags. That's perfect. All of our water is completely filled up. Our thirst is pretty good for the most part. Any sterilized water here. Okay, great. Let's get onwards. Cool. Um, Where are we at here? I'm going to start moving here towards the west. Keep going straight up, nor we're going to hit, like, Dogman Country at some point. But let's at least check this out. Who is that guy over there? Are you friend or foe, my friend? You let me know right now, actually. <laughs> if, are you friend or foe, my friend? I pretty much already made a decision on him. I guess I could call him my foe. Although that would be kind of different and weird. Uh, let's do lighting up an old torchy torch here. Equip that. And let's find out what's in this area to scavenge here. Tolerize. Use that. Oh, we found another bottle. You know what? Considering how much water we're using now. I guess we're not really using it, but I'd like to have like, some more backup water. Not really needed needed, but... It'd be nice to have. Let's make, like, two more spots for water going forward. That's, that's, that's what we're going to do. And you, excuse me, come down here. Any recipes that I need to know? Nope. Nope. Okay. Next one over. Office building. Nothing useful. Apartment building over here. Anything useful here? Nope. Alert some nearby creatures as well. Yeah, try it. See what happens. Got stuck in an opening. <laughs> I'm still kind of a big dude, apparently. Come on, dude. You've been out here, like, barely surviving on food. You still haven't lost enough weight to, like, you know, not get stuck in openings all the time. So this is all fine. We'll leave all that over here behind. We have to end our turn. Our torch fell apart yet again. Big surprise there. And... Okay. Let's start dashing here towards the west now. Enough going north. See about getting close to that Trisman village as well. Ooh. Found another town in the process. Scavenge. Nope. Nothing here that I want. Hmm. Should consider making some more torches here kind of soon. We are down to three of them. Maybe. First and foremost, let's jump into this little town. There's lots of scavenge over here, as, as a matter of fact. Now, it's nighttime, too. Let's see. We have three... Yeah, three locations here to check out. So, let's turn on one of the torches here for now. What I will do, since we're about to start wrapping up, I'll probably just make some more torches off-camera, so we don't have to sit through that again. Uh, let's see. Scavenge about over here, so... Crumbling apartment building. Use that. Oh. Another boot. Uh, 16.21. No, I'll leave you behind, considering we're a little bit low now in space because of the shotgun here. I think we need to start picking up all of the important stuff here. I am going to go ahead, though, and I'm going to empty you out. Take this extra bottle here. Again, not a big fan of the Cornicola. So that stays behind. Let's check out the destroyed office building. Nothing useful is found, and we have the storage shed as well to check out here. So what do you have for me? Nothing useful. All righty. Let's go ahead and grab this torch, down to 40% after using it here a few times. Okay. And there's at least like two hexes we should be able to check out with destroyed office buildings if I'm right. Two of them, good. So... Players unable to see well. Oh, our thing fell apart yet again. 
Uh, let's go ahead and turn another one on. Quality torch is lit. Get on out of here. All right. Crumbling apartment building, what do you have for me? This time, busted knuckles, but we should be fine because of our gloves. <laughs> okay, not a big problem there. I think the other one down here is the other one that should be searchable. So we are a bit tired now. We're going to have to start considering getting some rest here pretty soon. Nothing was found. Crumbling apartment building. Okay, we have more boots yet again. But again, low quality condition. Oh, nice, we got some whiskey. This sells for a ton. Ooh, we got nine in there, so this bottle alone is going to cost us 181. Well, not going to cost us, but we should be able to sell it off for 181. Amazing, as you could probably imagine. So we definitely want to make room for this. And if we don't sell, we just might like, drink it ourselves, you know? Every now and then, you need a gentleman drink to survive out here in the wasteland, so there is that. All right, so scavenge about lock storage shed. We don't have a way to get in there because we need a crowbar. Or the lockpicking ability, one or the other, which we don't have, so... It is what it is. Let's see, where is our torch? You still have... You're about to break down after this turn, so we might as well take advantage of it. And get far... Oh, eh, sure, you know what? We'll just waste you over here. Fell apart, let's end our turn. I'm going to actually start using my lighter now. Hopefully we can just find another lighter at some point. Nothing useful was found here. And again, oh, there's possibly two dudes here. Uh, this could be problematic. Take cover here. Okay. Who, who's out there? Search. Oh, strangers. Okay. He, um, revealed himself. I'm not visible yet. This guy has, uh, stones as a weapon. This guy's punching out. Come on, I'm not worried about these guys. I'm not worried about these guys at all. I'm gonna try to sneak away just because I... One or more creatures approach, but none have seen you yet. Will you sneak closer to them or keep your distance? I want to just keep my distance because I just honestly just want to leave. There's no... They have nothing of value on them that I probably need, so... I'm just going to continue trying to do a sneaky retreat. There we go. I will lose out on whatever I was looking for right there, but that's fine. I doubt we're going to find much of use there. And our turn going forward here. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. You know, traveling at nighttime is the only annoying thing, so I guess we should... Rely on our torch afterwards. Alright. And turn here. With my luck, it'll just be daytime right now. It's almost daytime, actually. At least now we can just move a bit easier. Scavenge through here, maybe? Any shacks? No, no shacks, so... No really use. Probably could use my botany skill here for a little bit extra water and berries or something, but... Not really a big deal. Here is daytime, as I pretty much expected would happen. But at least we're hauling ass right now. Player's thirsty. I could get some water. I'm also kind of tired. We should start looking for a place to actually get some shut eye over here. Forest probably won't do it. Oh, here we go. This would probably be a good place. Oh, yeah. This is great. All right. Let's do some scavenging about over here. We'll go ahead and use the lighter just because I'm getting a bit lazy now with this torch thing here. Oh, what is this? Uh, well, I mean, it looked good coming in, but really, there's nothing too crazy in here. 36.4, it seems that my pants are a bit better than that one, so, nope, yeah, there's really not much in here after. Oh, wait a minute, another lighter, 95.3 condition, yes! Now I could basically use that lighter more often, not have to worry about constantly making torches, so I'm actually quite happy to see that. That alone was worth it. Oh, another canister! Now we can at least make um, a second noise trap so we can have two of them and get like our alertness meter completely filled up for the most part. So this is actually a really good come up right here alone. So you could just come over here. We'll make a noise trap pretty soon. As a matter of fact, we should be able to make it now. Yeah, we'll make it pretty soon here. Let's continue scavenging about. This is a storage shed. We'll use the one that's about to break down here. 65, nothing useful. Alrighty, can we get some sleep here? No. We cannot. Burnt shell of a building? That's unfortunate. I guess I could probably try to find something over here, huh? Well, let's make the noise trap here before we keep moving. Noise trap. Should be tool somewhere, right? Or mix. Noise trap, noise trap. There we go. Um, I mean, use the... Use the free one, right? Not the one that we're already using for another noise trap. That would be kind of silly game. So, yeah, we should have two noise, uh, two of these guys, right? Firm, clear. Where's my 
backup one. Here it is. Okay. So you over here now. I think you should be able to stack two of these. Yeah! Alrighty, that worked out quite great. So now we have a better way to kind of get some sleep without having to worry about getting ambushed here. Speaking of sleep, we have to get some sleep pretty soon. So let's jump over here. Maybe we should find a... Uh, you have a Wolverine Black Whiskey bottle. I think you should be okay, so I'll just do an um, offer to talk, maybe. Oh, he's charging towards me. These are dark times, she greets you. You nod. You could say that. Though, she adds, seizing upon your willingness to talk, sometimes darkness can be on our side. Uh, sh <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean, darkness can be a shroud, a mantle against prying eyes. Your look is not one of apprehension. Used to be they could see everything, everyone. They could manipulate us. They? But their eyes are gone now, and we are truly free. She seems relieved. We must be vig vigilant, though. Her face hardens. We cannot return to those times, the times of constant tracking and control. She pulls out a smartphone and holds it out. There is always someone searching, watching us. She places it on the ground. And if we leapt in, they control us. She slams her foot onto it, cracking its face. Break your shackles. Keep your liberty. She parts ways. Yeah, well, I mean, that happened. <laughs> Alright, guys, and with that, we're going to wrap it up here for today. Well, we, that is a piece of work right there. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time.